All right, and welcome to the Emilio Exploring YouTube channel. Today we are at Twin Falls Trailhead. It's about a 2.6 round trip uh, hike, walk to a couple waterfalls. There's actually three, but it's called Twin Falls. So let's go. Oh, and there's a drone. Got my face mask, ready to hit the trail. Let's go. All right, so here's the parking area. It's pretty full most of the time, and it also continues up the road and around. So you can park over there. As well, there is three bathrooms, nowhere to wash your hands. There's just hand sanitizer, and the toilets do not flush. So here's the pay station. You can pay here at the machine and get a Discover Pass or pay for the day. And as well, here's the board. Kind of gives you a breakdown of the area, tells you you need the Discover Pass. And park hours are 6.30 to dusk. It looks like keeping up with social distancing, they had to put a sign. This is what six feet looks like. You gotta kind of keep your distance out here. They want people to go hiking, but also not get too close. So, it's like as soon as you walk onto the trail, there's two spots. You can kind of go hang out down at the river there. And then the trail takes off this way to the waterfalls. Here we go, Twin Falls Overlook, 0.8. Twin Falls, 1.3. Let's get started. All right, so this trail definitely has the most people that I've ever seen on a trail. Did that make any sense? There was a lot of people coming here constantly. So be aware that this one's heavily trafficked. <laughs> so we're at the watershed. Interesting, I shot a video at the watershed if you want to check that out the north rattlesnake oh yeah is that rattlesnake so check that out oh cool we got a little bridge check this out little bridge looks like there's a little bit of a green tint on everything probably because it's so green out here oh check out this fallen tree this is pretty neat, like we get to go around. Whee! Thinking like, what was it like 2006, there was a giant washout, which ruined a lot of the trail. And then again, maybe like five years ago, the trail got damaged quite a bit. And I guess they've done a lot of work to rebuild it, which is kind of neat. Holy cow. Look, people are just playing in the water down here. Whoa, look at this rock. Whoa. It's huge. Yeah, let's go up it. Well, look how big this tree is. It's a really big tree. I feel like the Lion King up here. Huh. Oop, I almost fell. There's a spider in there. I don't know if you guys can see it. Holy cow. You see it in there? That's creepy. Wow, this place is neat. Look at all this. Wow. You know, it's a pretty fun trail, even before you get to the waterfalls. I'm liking it quite a bit. All right, we're still walking, but I just want to check out this little section over here. Look at this. Whoa. That's cool. We're pretty close, I think. Look at that. Wow. So I think we're pretty close to the first waterfall. Let's keep walking. Onward we go. We took a bit of a break. The sun's getting a little lower. Look, but it'll still be pretty. Woo, check this rock out. I'm about to Lion King it up here. Woo, Simba, everything you see here is yours. Is that how the line goes? I don't remember. Well, you can see a boardwalk type thing up there. I think we're almost to the first viewpoint. All right, I'm going at it alone. I lost the party, but we're gonna we're gonna make it up to here. I had to leave them. Goodbye. You guys are on your own. As am I. All right, here we go. 
see what we got. Huh. <laughs> All right, so we're now descending towards the big waterfall. Uh, we, I wasn't really able to get to that viewpoint very easy. There was a lot of people. I guess that's the main viewpoint, so that makes sense why it was so hard. But now we're going down all these steps here. With all these little steps. And we should be there pretty soon. Overall, this has been a really nice, really nice hike. Really enjoyable. Lots of cool stuff to look at on the way. I've been on a lot of other hikes where as you're going to like the waterfall or whatever you're going for, there's not a whole lot of stuff to look at. So this one was, uh, it was pretty nice. I really like the walk. Woo -wee. So I think it's sometime around, I think it's like five. There's definitely uh, less people than earlier, which is nice. Um, so yeah, maybe either later in the day or earlier in the morning might be a good time to check this place out. Look how narrow some of these little sections are. You could barely fit like two people going across. Mm -hmm. All right, come with me and look how big this tree is. All right, so this is probably the biggest tree I think I've ever seen. It is bigger than that tree at Point Defiance by a long shot. For sure. I'm gonna go walk around it real quick. Check it out. <laughs> Definitely an exciting find. Let's continue on. Oh my gosh. This looks like some type of obstacle course. Look at this thing. What's going on? Like there's no physics. What's going on? Look at that. Look at that tree. Oh my gosh. La la la. La 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 la. La la la. Wow, there's that crazy tree. Woo wee. Look at that. That thing's nuts. Looks like a dinosaur. Dun 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. I'm out of breath. I watched Jurassic Park last night. Dun, dun, dun. All right, just passed somebody. They said, we're almost there. We're almost there, guys. <sighs> it's not a very long walk. I think in total, I think it was like 1.2 or four miles. But man, I think all the stopping and waiting makes it a little, take a little bit more time. Well, look at this, I'll show you this little hole thing. What is, uh, it's just a hole, whatever. Oh no, it's cool, let's take a look. Look at this cute little hole. Whoa. Oh, it's so cute. Someday this will be a massive waterfall. Look, it's like coming out of a little hole right there. Oh, and there's a layer of clay. Wow. Fascinating. Just wanted to say if you guys are enjoying the video so far why not give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more videos like this you can hit that subscribe button i do a lot of types of videos exploring beaches going on hikes all kinds of stuff and it helps my channel out quite a bit so go ahead and click those buttons if you like thank you now back to the show all right Check out this little bridge here. A little bridge. So cute. Oh, look at that. Wow, look at that. It was getting kind of windy up here. All right, onward. We're losing light. And my ankles hurt. Whoa. Look at what's going on down here, dude. Holy cow, that thing's huge. What? Oh, these are kind of a workout. Wow, look at this. We got a little stream right there. Let's go. Ooh. Look at that. 
Oh, so we're at the top of the falls. Check out the other side. Wow, look at the swell down there. Things going on. We're at the very top. I think there's the maybe the first fall, the second fall, and then we're above the big fall, and that probably makes the three, even though they call it Twin Falls. It's super pretty. The water's super nice. It's pretty loud. There's a whole lot going on. There's a lot to take in. Look at that. Wow. So after this, we're gonna go down and check out the big waterfall which is the main one you probably see in most of the photos. But these are really neat as well. That's the little waterfall over there. And then look at this huge, it's like a curve. Check that out. And then there's the other waterfall over there. All right, we're gonna go up here. We're gonna leave the party. We're gonna go see if there's another viewpoint. Okay, it's pretty dark. I don't know why it's so dark. I'm gonna work my way up this last section. Hopefully it's not too far, but I want to get a shot of that top waterfall and then head back to what I think is the big one. Oh, look at this. We're going in speed mode now, dude. Speed mode, baby. Oh, heck yeah. Wow, that's a better, better shot than down there, huh? Alright, so now we're heading back down. We got some nice photos and some cool shots up there. Now we're just gonna go backtrack a little bit and catch some stuff that we missed on the way. Holy cow. Look how pretty that is. I don't think I saw that coming up. Super nice. Wow. Whew, getting kind of bumpy. Yeah. Okay, so here's the steps. Now we're going down. This is from earlier, it just looks a little different because it's, uh, sun's kind of going down, so here we go. Woo. Oh wow, check that out. Like there's two spots to stand. Definitely worth the walk and the time to get out here. The waterfalls are really pretty. The walk is really pretty. You can play in the water in different spots. So it's definitely worth checking out. All right, so I'm gonna walk. I'm gonna walk down this little trail real quick and see if I can uh, see more angles of the waterfall, I guess. The uh, observation deck was really teeny. A little bit smaller than I would have liked and there was absolutely no way to do like six feet away from people. So I don't know what the deal is, but these sketchers are really, really bad for ankle support. They are horrible. Oh. Alright. We'll keep going.
Okay guys, that was definitely the spot to go to to get some cool photos. And there was like a bridge over there. Like an old bridge or some type of crossing, which was really neat. That was really cool. Kind of, kind of dangerous though. A lot of steep rocks and a lot of twists and turns. Oh, now I have to get out of here. So yeah, when the sun starts to go, it goes quick here, a lot of hills. So like, I think it's like 6.40, it's like August. And it's pretty dark right here. You can still see some light over there, but it's uh, definitely make, make sure you got enough time, I guess. Cause you could get stuck out here in the dark. I noticed people don't like this mask at all. <laughs> Same with animals. They seem to really hate it. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Uh, I think it's cool, but little kids, especially now when it's dark, every time little kids see me walking through, they get kind of scared. And little dogs too. It's kind of cool. Kind of like it. Look at these spooky woods, dude. Ooh, and the water just kind of the sound of the water just went down. It just sunk. It was getting quiet, except for me blabbing. There's that big rock from earlier. It's getting dark. Man, I did see a few people heading that way. They're definitely going to be walking back in the dark. No, thank you. This is Bigfoot country. No, thank you. Every time I do that kind of stuff, there's always somebody just around the corner. Oh yeah, look, here we are. It's pretty, the lighting's really nice right now. Man, definitely have to come back here and play in this water. Bring an underwater camera. Get some gnarly shots. Definitely a lot of fun today. Here we go, here's a little bit more light. We came out of the little valley there. And there's some more sunshine. Pretty neat. All right guys, I am gonna end the video here. It's a really pretty spot. Got this cool lighting back here. Just wanna say thanks for watching guys. Definitely make sure you're comfortable with a lot of people. If you come here, there's a lot, a lot of people. Wear your face mask, bring some hand sanitizer, bring all that. It's pretty heavily, it's a pretty heavy trail with a lot of people. Thanks for watching guys, hit that like button, sub. Let me know if you've ever been here, or if you're thinking about coming here, let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching guys. See you guys next time on the Emilio Exploring channel. I don't know how many times I've ended this video now. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. I thought we were never gonna make it, but here we are. We're back. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time on the Emilio Exploring channel. Goodbye.